I'm doing a wet vlog road trip from the hotel and we're going to um, a large garden centre called Pedals which is near where Phil used to live although it's still quite close to where he lives <coughs> I'm supposed to be navigating it could all go very wrong but actually we're just going back the way we've been and backwards and forwards backwards and forwards for days so most of it's memorable I think To the car just now and put my seatbelt on. I said to Mark, at least I can put this on myself. I have to, Phil has to climb in and put me into the seatbelt in the Tesla like a child in a car seat. <coughs> it's really not a comfortable car for old people. This is the sort of weather that you've had in the UK for weeks and weeks and months and months, I think. And I know that in France, I've had some near us. I think it's missed us because we're on a bit of a island. It's like the weather goes around us a lot. But either side of us, in the towns either side of us, they've had torrential rain and storms. When I contacted the house sitters the other day and they, they said they sat in the garden the day before. So um, I don't think they're getting the weather that I'm seeing on Facebook, which is good. You upsetting the car? I think we'll wash from the wheels. Oh right, it doesn't like it. Not dandelions this time. It's not dandelions, but water. A bit of a rain wave. Are you surfing? Yeah, well. Sort of. So we were going to the um, garden centre meeting, I'm going to Phil's. We're going to the garden centre together, but he's got to go out and sort out Becky's car <clears throat> that's got a intermittent problem. What's the problem with her car? Um, God, blimey, flooded. I think it was the stop start that uh, wasn't working properly. Okay. So he's got to sort that out first, and then we'll meet up with him later. We were going to have lunch. <laughs> we were gonna have lunch at Bomber Command, go back up to Bomber Command and have lunch there. But I think we'll probably have lunch at home. And then it's a shopping expedition for the men again. Because Mark's looking for a car jack. And the Halfords you went in didn't have any, it was too small, wasn't it? Yeah. And the other Halfords that Phil thought of was closed down. <coughs> we want to go to North Highcombe yeah. and um, I think if we just carried on instead of turning off <coughs> clear off to the red car we'd get to Pennells it's just before the, um, the roundabout that we go round if you're going to go to Carry on going home back to the you know back to the southeast. Who are you talking to now? Me. Oh. We well, you're not listening. Oh.
Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. It's a wet Wednesday morning. <coughs> The, um, <clears throat> in the Peace Garden at the <clears throat> memorial, there was the, um, I think it's called a ribbon of stones or I can't remember what it's called, but we decided that we, he will, uh, Mark will um, order one f to, um, in memory of his dad. <clears throat> The um, form and everything with us, so we'll sort that out when we get home and decide which one to choose. And I think it takes several months before it ends up placed. Um, but there's there's a bit of space on the right hand side. I think there's another three or four meters of space on the right hand side. And the and the guy said that they would just you know continue and come back down and then go around the other side. So plenty of room and then when it's placed we can send Phil up to take a photo because we normally watch that often people hanging around at the pedestrian lights oh, and you're yes. checking to make sure they're not coming across but don't worry I'll finish doing this in a minute and then I'll put the sat nav back on and work out where we are I'm sure we're fine sign says you carry straight on Oh, that's a long, 10 minutes, that's long enough, isn't it? Long enough for a wet road trip. <clears throat> 